Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Friday, the 23rd day of June, 2023. 23-06-2023. May God give you double blessings today in the name of Jesus. Our topic today on the Seas of Destiny is evil practices fueled by the love of money. The Bible says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which, while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. Thought for the day, to love money is to engage in evil practices. Our anchor scripture reveals that the love of money is the root of all evil. To love money is to engage in evil practices. People do terrible things because of their love for money. For example, people with the love of money can mix petrol and kerosene in order to increase their profit margin. Evil money. Some people reset the meter of filling station fuel pumps so that they can sell less fuel for more money and the buyers are unable to spot the difference. That is evil money. Furthermore, some people rebag cement. They create new bags of cement by taking out some quantities of cement out of already measured bags in order to multiply the number of bags and sell to unsuspecting buyers. When the rebagged cements are sold, the buyer thinks that he bought a full bag of cement, not knowing that what he bought was a rebagged cement and that he was actually cheated. Moreover, some people put robust potatoes or robust fat round tomatoes or onions at the top of the basket and they put the smaller bad ones at the bottom of the basket and buyers might not realize it until they get home the money that they paid they realize that the sale was um, concealed potatoes uh, that were bad under and the top was good you know evil money uh, the love of money is what made Judas Iscariot sell his master Jesus that was evil money. Some people steal money from their places of work and others steal money from the church. For instance, someone might be sent to buy sound systems for the church and he connives with the seller to defraud the church. Such a person is an evil or an armed robber, if not worse. Beloved, by all means, avoid the temptation of engaging in dubious practices to get money. Remember this, to love money excessively is to engage in evil practices what's our assignment today number one by all means refuse to indulge in evil practices number two trust god to deliver legitimate wealth into your hands find a work find a job do it and be diligent in doing it praise the lord let's pray say after me lord i ask that you deliver me from the love of money i receive the grace to love you above everyone and above everything including money in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. I pray for you today and I break the yoke of sin from your life. I declare that you shall live for God. You shall serve God in spirit and in truth. Every satanic hold of money on you is hereby broken in Jesus name. Before I close, you want to be born again. You want Jesus to forgive you your sins. You want him to come into your life and be the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless and keep you his face to shine on you and today i break the yoke of sin from off your life i bind you foul devil get out in jesus name this one shall live for god and serve him in spirit and in truth in jesus name god bless you i didn't wish you a happy birthday i can't close without wishing you a happy birthday so god bless you and cause his face to shine on you on this your special day this birthday shall be the birthday that has been the best so far blessings upon blessings help upon help favor upon favor gifts upon gifts god bless you in jesus name